trying to pass your state exam and you come up with a word called incontestability and you're trying to memorize what that does, but the word doesn't make sense to you. What does incontestability really mean? My name is Peter Lemieux from the Insurance Exam Queen. We try to make concepts and words that sometimes are hard to get in our brain understandable. If you are a sports fan, and you've ever watched a situation where a coach argues with the referee or the umpire because they didn't like the call they make, what you are witnessing is that coach is contesting the call of the umpire or the referee. They are saying that's incorrect. You need to change your mind. We don't accept your decision. That's what a contest is. But a clause in insurance incontestability says the insurance company cannot contest a claim in certain circumstances. So let's go back to my sports example. If we have an incontestability rule, the manager or the coach can't argue. It's incontestable. If an insurance company doesn't want to pay a claim, they're going to contest the claim that's put in. However, there are certain situations where the insurance company can not contest the claim. They just have to pay it. Yeah, they have to pay it. Uh, what about fraud? Have to pay it. Wow. When does that happen? We'll make that clear to you. That's what we do at the Insurance Exam Queen. We take these words that sometimes just don't click in our brain and we make them make sense with a story. Check us out, theinsuranceexamqueen.com. You're trying to pass a test? Go to teachers who can make it understandable and you will pass the test. Our results prove it. Look forward to seeing you at insuranceexamqueen.com. My name is Peter Lemieux, representing the Insurance Exam Queen. Hope to see you soon.